Dozens of boxes line the wall of a DEA evidence warehouse in Phoenix. Inside the boxes, spice, all seized from major investigations. We look at targeting the biggest and the baddest. Erica Curry is a spokeswoman with the DEA in Arizona and says spice is a synthetic drug made by spraying chemicals onto a plant-based material. FBI, DHS. The DEA first started to notice spice becoming a problem about five years ago. But in the last six months, Pima County first responders say they've seen a spike in spice related calls. It's been hitting us pretty hard. Tucson Fire Paramedic Brian Thompson says he responds to multiple spice overdose calls every shift. What we're seeing is the patients present feverish, their temperature spikes, they're tachycardic, which means their heart rate is out the roof. A person who overdoses on spice, we're going to be looking at this number here where it says 62, 63, which is excellent, is going to be up near the 200s. And so what kind so, of, what does that do to a person's body when their heart rate is that high? If they don't have a strong heart, they can actually put them into cardiac arrest. The Pima County Health Department says the increase in spice-related calls has placed a large burden on both first responders and hospitals. Both Tucson Fire and Tucson Police started tracking spice-related calls in April when they began to notice the increase. Those two agencies responded to a combined 537 spice-related calls between April and August. That averages to more than three calls a day. Most of the calls took place downtown, where Brian Thompson says they tend to see a lot of the same people. It is discouraging to see them just keep going back and back. And it's not just Arizona seeing a spike. In April, the governor of New York issued an alert after more than 160 people were hospitalized in under two weeks. But somehow, manufacturers continue to stay one step ahead of the law. They are always trying to evade uh, our investigations and our, our agents in, in manufacturing these products. Probably one of the most difficult hurdles to overcome is identifying the chemicals that they're using. As soon as the DEA identifies and outlaws a chemical used in the making of spice, Curry says manufacturers will change the composition just enough to make it a new chemical. We have right now 350 to 400 chemicals that we've identified in the country. It's one chemical after another. What might be popular in one region of the country may not be in another. It's, it ebbs and flows, it gives and takes, it's like whack-a-mole. And she says these chemicals make the drug extremely dangerous. And you don't know what you're ingesting to begin with. You don't know what kind of chemicals you're taking into your body. We've had varying degrees of pharmacological effects on the, the body. Yet the drugs are marketed as safe and natural, something Curry says is completely false. These are very, very dangerous products. There's, uh, there's a misperception that these are natural uh, alternatives to marijuana. There is absolutely nothing natural about spice. It is a very dangerous drug. Ricky Mitchell, KGUN 9 on your side.